Welcome back to the channel and today I've got a very strange and perhaps challenging mechanism to try to replicate another one from the art of rendering channel. So here we are on the art of rendering and on mechanical principles part two into the video there is this strange mechanism it seems like a very asymmetrical type of movement because you i think the main power source if i had to guess is coming from this rod right here because this is rotating at a pretty constant rate whereas this one has this really quick flip in it which is kind of interesting um and then there's this whole middle s bend section that is kind of allowing these two rods to rotate uh, very differently from each other. Now, when it comes to building something like this in scrap mechanic, I think it is possible to get at least very close, because if I take this animation and I find a good neutral point, like right here, seems to be the closest that this thing is to a 90 degree build grid. So I'm gonna try to replicate this, but there's one major problem that I am anticipating. If I have this all aligned perfectly with the build grid and then I uh, spin this rod, I don't think anything is gonna happen other than this rod will spin because it's just what's gonna make it actually do this movement if it is all perfectly straight with the build grid. What I think needs to happen is if you look closely, when everything is pretty much perfectly aligned, it looks like this connecting piece right here isn't actually completely vertical. And I think that is what forces it to do this movement. Because as this rod rotates, this part is actually rotating about that vertical axis instead of directly in line with it, causing it to get offline and then do this motion right here, which then translates over to this bar to make it do that weird thing. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get these results, but I think that's gonna be the fun of it, trying to replicate this and then seeing what results I end up getting and comparing it to the main animation here. So let's hop back over in Scrap Mechanic and see what happens. All right, I think I'm ready to start building here. So the best way I think to start is to just uh, build it on the 90 degree build grid as best as I can and uh, hope for the best when it comes to that. But there is probably going to have to be some type of modification I'm going to need to make in order to actually make it work instead of just uh, rotate in place without actually doing the weird flippy thing. All right, so I found some pretty cool pieces here that I think are actually gonna fit the aesthetic pretty well. Yeah, look at that. This piece looks awesome. All right, so then on top of that, I think I can attach that right there. And this is where it is going to attach to the S-Bend. How to build the S-Bend though is going to be a little bit more interesting. I and mean, I guess if I have that go in that direction, Oh, it's doing some weird stuff. Oh, wait, actually, do these have good collisions? Oh, no. This might not actually... This doesn't rotate freely. Oh, there might be an easier solution to this. Maybe if I delete that, does this allow it to rotate freely? No, see, it should, it should just freely fall in that direction, but something is happening with the uh, connection. I might not be able to use this. I think there's some weird collision happening. Man, that looks so cool though. It, it looked like it was gonna fit so well with the aesthetic. So instead, I may need to use uh, a different type of thing using just blocks. So here, if I do this instead, yeah, see, now that rotates freely. See, there we go. Now that is a freely rotating piece. Definitely doesn't look as cool, but it's just gonna be way smoother. All right, so now for the S bend, I'll extend this out by two more more blocks and then I'll just use the duct pieces to make this bend. I hope that the uh, the size of this bend isn't that important as long as it just goes to a slightly like a slightly different plane than the original. But I don't know if this should be three blocks or four blocks or five blocks but I'm just gonna go with three. All right so now I just gotta build basically this upside down. So there's a bearing here which attaches to the base of this and then a on the end of that, I have another one of these things. So two blocks, one block, and then the duct piece to create the curve. And now this is where it's attached at the end there. So we got a bearing here, and this is gonna go in that direction for the uh, final rod. All right, and then we got our rod that extends this way and attaches to who knows what. Just Let's just put a pillar right here. Okay, so now we have the system implemented. So theoretically, if I just power this, uh, it should spin this rod and that 
it, it should translate through all of this, but I don't think it's going to work because it is perfectly all aligned with the grid. I think I need to somehow slightly, very, very slightly misalign this rod so that this part gets slightly bent over. Is this really even gonna, is this gonna work? This, this seems, it, all of a sudden it doesn't seem like this is even possible. All right, but let's see what happens. If I put this on rotating 360 degrees, when I activate this, uh, let's just see what happens. Here we go. All right, well, that's not the right way I want it to go anyway. But yeah, this is exactly what I expected to happen. So now, how do I make the cool part happen? You know, I think one of the things that's going to help is um, painting it gray so it looks more mechanical and industrial. Don't ask me how this works. It's just one of those things that, uh, you know, Scrap Mechanic has a special physics and things like that. And sometimes if the paint is the right color, I'm just making stuff up. None of this actually matters. I just want it to look more like the animation, okay? All right, so I'm gonna delete the base out of this because the first idea that I have to try to make this thing actually function is to move this starting area right here, the starting rod, just have it on a piston and then just move it by a block. I kind of wish I could easily move it by less than a block, but I don't think there's gonna be a stable way to do that compared to just one block. So my plan to do this is to attach a piston. I think I wanna move it inwards. So by attaching it to a piston like this and then creating a little bit of room in here for the uh, piston, for that block to move forward. So it should be able to move into that position. So here, let's see how this looks. If I move that by one block, just like that. That was, it lifts up in a weird way. Uh, Hold on, let me just see what that looks like when I attach it to the switch so I can see the movement. All right, so we move it in. That doesn't look right, does it? That really doesn't look right. I have concerns for this, uh, but let's just see what happens. So if I attach that, I'm gonna program it the same way I did before. Let's make sure it's welded to the ground so nothing strange happens. Well, that's no guarantee at all, but uh, when I push this button, this is gonna rotate and now there is this axis shift. So uh, let's see what happens in three, two, one, go. Oh. It looks like it wants to so bad, but it's just not. Why is it not? What? Oh, it wants to. What if I do another block? Let me change the piston to two. It, it seems like it's really close. I wonder what kind of changes could be made. Like, I wonder if I, if I change the length of this S-bend, if that might contribute any differences or if other things need to change because one of the things i don't like about this is you can see the flexing happening here so this isn't staying perfectly straight but i don't know if there's a way i can stop that from happening if i need it to move i feel like that's actually one of the causes here is that this is flexing which is allowing it to get away with going back to this like neutral position if this couldn't flex at all like this i think it would force it to do that uh, rotational thing that we're looking for like we got the bearing there. I'm pretty sure I have everything hooked up correctly. You can see it begin to flex. Everything is flexing where it should. It's just not flexing enough. How do I force it to do what I want to do? All right, I'm gonna move another block. Oh, you know what? It's not moving. This is not extending enough blocks. I have it extending three blocks right now, but that is not three blocks. Let me turn that off. The reason why it's not extending three blocks is because it can't flex like that realistically. All right, I am realizing now the size of this is important. I'm gonna do an experiment here and change the rotation uh, points to... Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Cause see, this is the problem. This is incapable of rotating 90 degrees because this S-Bend is not the right dimension. So I did have a hunch that that was going to matter. And now I just got to figure out how to determine the correct dimensions. Oh, I just realized another issue. Uh, one of these pieces isn't even welded the right way. What? This... Something's not right up here. Oh, that's a big problem. That might have been the issue. This wasn't attached at the in the right way. Okay, so I need to redo this part. That may have been what was messing up all of this. I hope that's as simple as the it was. All right, now that I have fixed this bearing to actually be functional, let's see if this changes how this works now. 
Dang. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me uh, start adjusting the piston again. No. All right, so we, we still have the issue where I do need... I need this to be able to uh, be 90 degrees. Oh. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that does work. So this can go 90 degrees. This is an appropriate... The S-Bend actually is a functional... Uh, dimension here. So now let's see if I'm in this position and then I make this thing rotate. Now let's see what happens. That worked for a second and then it gets locked in the 90 degree position. And this isn't going out, I, all right, three blocks? Yeah, this is not getting pushed out as much as I want it to be. You know, I got a new idea. I got a new idea on where to make the modification. I'm gonna add the piston here instead. So this is going to add a weird asymmetry, I think, but I don't know. I just wanna see what happens. Let's just see if it can get it to, if it can force it into this rotation. All right, let's see if this helps at all. Here we go. Oh! <gasps> Oh. Well, that was weird. What? How did it work once and then it gets jammed the next time? All right, well, let's make it symmetrical then. Let me add the piston over there as well. I don't know if this is gonna help or hurt it though. All right, so I deleted this section. Oops. That's fine. Added a piston to the middle. Oh no, whoops. I, I was just going in the completely wrong section. This is not where the piston is supposed to be. I looked at the wrong uh, parts. You're supposed to be normal. I'm supposed to be doing this section right here. That is the part. All right, so now that piston is gonna extend by a block as well. Oh, they're fighting against each other. You can see this one's extending, but now it's compressing that one. You know, this might, maybe this will work. Well, let's see what happens. Here we go. Yes. Oh. Okay. And now is it just not gonna work anymore? And then it gets stuck again. What? Why you do this? It's so close to working. Ah, oh, man. I am getting foiled by the build grid once again. All right, you know what? I don't know what. Do you know what? All right, that looked good. That looked good that was like a good it didn't do it looks like it wanted to do that quick flip over here but it's just not what are you doing i feel like the big issue is these are just not strong enough i'm gonna change the speed to fast <laughs> there's no way this is gonna be better for it but let's see what happens yeah see no it's that's way worse all right so looking at the way that this is functioning it does like one almost successful turn I mean, it does turn all the way around successfully, but there's like a, there's a hiccup where you could, it's hard to point out because it happens so fast, but this thing has like a little twitch right there and then it like gets caught. I feel like it's not having enough time to complete the mechanical movement that it needs in order to stay functional. Like it's moving too fast. So one of the things I can do, I can't set the speed any slower than this, but I can change the amount of degrees for this, for each loop, which means it's going to take the same amount of time to rotate less degrees for that unit. Okay, so now that it should be moving roughly half the speed, let's see if it gives it more time to actually function on what it seems like it's trying to do. All right, here we go. Half speed. Let's see how this feels. Good. And then does a flip. Oh, <gasps> it did the flip. Oh, and then it got stuck again. But it did the flip that time. It's that's what it's supposed to do. So that that was definitely an improvement from the original. So maybe what if I bring it even slower? Go 90 degrees. So a quarter of the original speed. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it is so slow, but if it helps it get like adjust as it goes. Right, here we go. Big rotation. <gasps> Still going. Back to the starting position. Can it continue for another cycle or is it going to get stuck? Come on. Yes. <gasps> Big rotation. We just went through it twice. Is this repeatable now? Is this gonna keep going? Come on. Man, I wish I could do it faster. But it this seems to do what it needs to do now. Like I think all of the movement is now happening just like the original. I mean, it does have the weirdness with these pistons in here, but I think it needs that flexing to happen just because 
it needs to have that slight offset from the build grid and those pistons are what's giving it that offset and that little bit of flex that I think it needs. But uh, I think as far as the original mechanism goes, all of the movement mechanics are here. Yep, rotates in, causes that one to do a flip, and then it rotates back. So I guess if I watch it a little bit, if we can, uh, if we can get this to go roughly the same speed as the animation, uh, here, let me try to get a similar angle from, as the animation as well. Let's see how closely it resembles the original animation. Let's get them all matched up here. All right, how'd it look? Did it look good? Can we consider this a success? I gotta admit, I was worried at the first design, <laughs> the first version of it. I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to accommodate the uh, the little differences it needed from the 90 degree build grid. But somehow, just by slowing it down, it actually made it work. So uh, if you guys see any other cool mechanisms like this that you'd like to see me try to replicate in Scrap Mechanic, uh, things that don't involve circles and gears too much, because I see a lot of people recommending things with that involve like really precise gear teeth and things like that, and Scrap Mechanic just doesn't have that. But yeah, stuff like this is a little bit more doable, even though it almost wasn't doable. But if you enjoyed this, you probably enjoy some other stuff that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.